Hello there. Did you know that the world's first computer programmer was born around the same time as Abraham Lincoln and Queen Victoria? Hi, I'm Miranda Cosgrove. Welcome to the STEM loft, where the landlord said it wasn't haunted and was honestly really weird about it. Seems 100 years too early, right? But it's true. Ada Lovelace, the first computer programmer, was born all the way back in 1815. But how can a computer programmer be born before computers were invented? How? How? Chill, I'll explain. Ada's father was Lord Byron, one of England's most well-known romantic poets. He was a messy drama queen way before that was even a thing. And right after Ada was born, he not only left Ada and her mother, he left England forever. Bye. Ada's mother, Baroness Anne Isabella Noel Byron, was known for her skill in mathematics. As much as Lord Byron loved poetry and romance, Baroness Anne Byron loved mathematics and logic. She told Ada, you aren't gonna grow up into a moody poet like your deadbeat dad, here's some math. And so Ada was schooled in mathematics and reason. Her mother spared no expense on Ada's education, and her learning included meeting some of the finest minds of the time like the scientist Michael Faraday and the novelist Charles Dickens. This would be like if Ariana Grande came in to be her substitute choir teacher and Serena Williams stopped by to teach you a little tennis. It was incredibly unusual to even think of allowing a girl such an education in the 1800s. So Ada was really lucky her mom had her back. All this education did the trick, and as Ada grew up, she developed really impressive technological and mathematical skills. When she was 17, Ada met inventor and mathematician Charles Babbage at a party. He designed a new machine called the Difference Engine. And Ada was like, this is totally cool. I love machines and math, can I help? And he was like, fire. And they started working together. At this time, math was all done by hand. Astronomers and navigators in the 1800s needed extensive tables of polynomial functions in order to do their jobs. But these tables, all handwritten, sometimes had mistakes. Babbage's difference engine was designed to automate the process without any errors, and it worked. Years later, Babbage had plans for an updated machine, and he asked Italian engineer Luigi Minabrea to help outline what the new invention could do. When Luigi finished his paper, Ada volunteered to translate it into English. But she didn't just translate the paper. She also added her own ideas. She proposed a set of instructions for the machine to perform more sophisticated calculations. And that set of instructions is considered the first computer program. She also predicted that one day, data processed by computers could represent words, images, and more. She even wrote, one day a computer might compose elaborate and scientific pieces of music of any degree of complexity. So I guess she kinda also invented EDM. Cool. Ada tragically died at the age of 36, but her brilliance lives on as evidenced by the computers of today. Oh, by the way, the Babbage machine and its printer worked flawlessly and still does to this day. Thanks, Ada Lovelace. So every time you send an emoji or open a website or play a video game, please remember Ada Lovelace, the 19th century math genius with the flashy poetic dad. Hey, it's Miranda Cosgrove, your favorite host of Mission Unstoppable. I'm the only host. And if you wanna watch awesome STEM videos and exclusive Mission Unstoppable clips, just make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell.